In the 2015 final report, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission was very clear that we need truth before reconciliation. It's important to confront residential school denialism head on because this is a strategy to try and undermine public confidence in the truth part to close off avenues to healing justice and reconciliation. Residential school denialism is not the denial of the residential school system's existence, but is rather an effort to distort, twist, and misrepresent basic facts about residential schools to undermine truth and reconciliation efforts. So there are a number of different residential school denialist talking points. We've heard many of them before. Uh, residential schools were well-intentioned. They were of the times. There are no deaths or deaths were unavoidable. Uh, examples of abuse are exaggerated. The people working in the schools had the best intentions for, for students. And all of these talking points have been rigorously debunked by scholars as well as survivor testimony and they're being used to try and undermine public confidence in the experiences of residential school survivors themselves. A major residential school denialist talking point is that residential schools do not constitute genocide. One of the things that the Truth and Reconciliation Commission uh, did in its final report was clearly explain how residential schooling meets the UN definitions of genocide, uh, in specifically cultural genocide, in its attack on group life of Indigenous people by removing children from families, by uh, undermining Indigenous lifeways, attacks on culture and language, an understanding of how residential schools fit the UN definition of genocide helps people understand the uncomfortable truths uh, that flow from that. Residential school denialism flourishes in an information gap. Many Canadians did not learn about the history of colonialism and residential schools growing up, and as a result have a hard time believing the difficult truths of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and that survivors are, are bringing forward. But the answer actually is more education, as Truth and Reconciliation Commissioner Murray Sinclair always says, education is what got us into this mess, but education is what is needed to get us out. And that's why it's important for Canadians to learn more about the history of residential schooling, to make progress on the 94 calls to action, and to learn how to identify and confront residential school denialism wherever it comes up.